Hi, my name's Holly. I'm a PhD student here at the Australian National University studying plant science. There are clouds in the sky every single day, but we don't often get to see them up close. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own cloud in a bottle. We're going to start by filling up a bottle around three quarters full with water. So let's make our very own cloud in a bottle. I'm going to start by showing you how to run the experiment and then I'll take you through the science behind it. So our first step is to take a plastic bottle and fill it roughly three quarters of the way full with water. You might want to play around with the amount of water in the bottle to see if that has any effect on the experiment. We'll put our lid on the bottle and then give it a good shake. That should saturate the air at the top of the bottle with water vapour. So let's start by giving our bottle a squeeze and releasing it. As we can see, not much is happening. But let's see what happens when we add a match. Take the cap off the bottle and light the match. You might want to get a teacher's help with this because you want to be very careful of your fingers. So we're going to light the match and let it burn a little bit up the stick of the match. And then drop it in the bottle and very quickly put the lid back on. Now we're going to squeeze and release the bottle. And you should be able to see your cloud forming. So what's going on here? When we squeeze the bottle, we increase the temperature and the pressure inside the bottle. And when we release it, the temperature and the pressure in the bottle release again. When we added the match, it introduced tiny smoke particles into the bottle. These are called condensation nuclei, tiny particles that help the water molecules stick together. You can't see the water vapour in the air in the bottle initially, but when you give the bottle a squeeze, it raises the temperature and the pressure, and when you let it go, the temperature and the pressure in the bottle release. This allows the water vapour at the top of the bottle to cool and condense to form tiny droplets but only if there are condensation nuclei for the water droplets to form around. These tiny water droplets in our bottle are the same as the water droplets that form clouds in the sky. Real clouds form when warm air rises in the atmosphere and then cools down. As the air cools, water molecules condense around condensation nuclei, such as dust or pollut pollution particles, and they stick together to form a cloud. That's the end of the experiment. I hope you had fun making your very own cloud in a bottle. If you want to, you can play around with the different elements of the experiment to see if you get a different result. For example, try making your cloud in a larger bottle, putting different amounts of water in or different temperatures of water. I hope you have fun.